Fake versus real. Fake versus real. Right, okay. Bam. Here we go, guys. Bag number one. Turn it out. Got the receipt. Bag number two. Bam. Now we can see what's popping with these ones, guys. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm not really feeling how this video is looking today. Let me see if I can try and fix this up a little touch. Kia. Kia, me doing a review in the dark, you know? Yeah, if I, if I shine light on the situation, you know? Right. Hmm. So basically what it is guys, I got a new camera in as well, so I've, up, I've upgraded my camera. Last video I did, last two videos I did, I got in a Sony RX100 camera. And to be honest with you, all the reviews online were saying it was great. I didn't really like it. I don't know much about cameras. Maybe I didn't get the settings right. So what I did, I just sent that one back. And what I've done is I've got me a new Nikon camera. Because I had a Nikon before. I had a Nikon J1. Now I've got a Nikon J4. So just trying to learn how to use it. I hope the quality is a bit better. Guys, give me your feedback. Let me know what this camera is saying. Okay. So what I've done, guys, is I've just done the unboxing. Okay. Just open up the... Um, the um, packaging and we've got the track suits in here so this is the original track suit this is the fake track suit so let's have a look at this guys um let's see what they're saying so guys the first thing i'm going to say about these ralph lauren track suits and i've noticed this is ralph lauren do not sell track suits in all in one set they don't do that you won't go to Ralph Lauren store, you won't go Ralph Lauren online, you won't go anywhere and find the Ralph Lauren being sold together as a tracksuit. You need to buy the top and you need to buy the bottoms. So this is the original guys. This is from House of Fraser. That's the package in there. As you can see, that's the top and the top's being sold for 100 quid. Okay. That's the bottoms there. That's being sold for 85 quid. As you can see, that's the size, that's the barcode, that's everything in there, guys, okay? So, you won't, that's the first way to tell if a Ralph Lauren is fake. If you find some cats trying to sell you the whole tracksuit, like what this guy on eBay done right here, then <clears throat> it's not real, okay? Because they don't sell them together, guys, they sell them separately, okay? So anyway, let's, uh, let's quit rambling on about that, let's, uh, let's open these up. So, this is the Ralph Lauren tracksuit. Um, that's the fake one. And actually, do you know what? It actually feels quite nice. <laughs> Not that I'm trying to boost it, but I thought the quality was going to be a little bit worse, but it feels actually all right, okay? Um, can already see that the fleece on the inside is coming off a little bit, so I'm just going to show you that. The fleece on the inside there, you can see that it's just... Yeah, you, you, you can tell when something's not great quality when you see stuff like that. So guys, you've got to check the items out. But that's just something I noticed real quick. So, even though it feels good, it feels really, feels kind of thin. But anyway, so that's the, um, that's the one I got in from eBay, guys. This is the fake one that I got in. That's it there. That's the tracksuit right there. What I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to compare the top and I'll compare the bottom. That's what I'm going to do, guys. So let's get that in. Right, okay. S straight away, you can feel the difference in the quality between the two. You can feel that straight away. So, <clears throat> just looking at the tops. That's the real one. That's the fake one. Let's see what some of the first things we notice here straight away. Okay. One of the first things I'm noticing straight away, guys, is the pull cord. It looks quite thick, quite big. And if we look at the one from the original, we can see there's a difference there in size, obviously, okay? Um, the one on the right is the fake, the one on the left is the real. You can see that the quality between the two, the thickness, the size is a little bit different. So this one's quite a thick stitch here, as you can see. And this one here is actually um, quite thin, as you can see there. So. That's one of the first things I'm noticing. Just want to see the, the zips. The other thing I've noticed as well, guys, is the original has YKK, as you can see there on the bottom. And the fake one doesn't have YKK there. So that's, that's another difference that I'm just spotting in straight away there. OK, 
okay so <clears throat> obviously I've um, spoke about YKK before and YKK do zips for lots of designers so when you see stuff like YKK or Lampo or um, um, I think there's one called Riri RI -I -R -I, um, then you know that, that that's uh, that's a zip made by a manufacturer specifically and they usually use those for designer clothing but as you can see here there's nothing on there okay guys so that's one of the first things i'm noticing straight away so one of the other things that i noticed straight away as well is if we look at the reverse of the um zips we can see that <clears throat> the original one here is ykk and the fake one doesn't even have anything there it just says c1 or C2, so I'm not even sure what that is. That's probably the um, counterfeit's own type of um, zips that they use, and they probably use that for lots and lots and lots of other counterfeit items as well. The other thing I noticed as well, guys, is if we turn and look at the back, you can see that the original, what they've done is they've put an extra bit of material here to line where the zip is from the zip and the um, cotton material, as you can see here. So you can see they put this fabric here, but if we look on the fake, they haven't put that protection there. You can see, look, there's nothing there on that side, okay? So that's one of the other things I noticed, guys, straight away. Um, also, the original one feels very good quality. This one just feels a bit more like a jersey material. And even though it felt nice at the beginning, I could see that even if I was to do, even if I was to just do that, you start to see that you get the cotton coming off. So that is a sign of really bad quality there. That's a really cheap cotton. Whereas you wouldn't get that with the, um, wouldn't get that with the fake. I'm sorry, wouldn't get that with the original, as you can see. Um, let's, see let's have a look on the inside of the item, see what we can see inside. Okay. So just looking at the, uh, difference between the labels of the original and the fake so that's the fake one there guys and that's the original one there as you can see totally different this one has a supplier code on there and a PO number I'm not really quite sure what that PO number is but you can see that small little tag there and it's got some other information here as well on the inside so it's got um sort of another language but 86% cotton 14% polyester so that's the makeup of the original whereas here it says 52% polyester and 48% cotton so you can see on this one they've used a lot more polyester which now explains why this is bubbling so easily because there's a lot of polyester in there which is basically plastic um, just looking at the Ralph Lauren sign see the difference between the two I actually think this Ralph Lauren sign is newer. This is the newer Ralph Lauren sign. Um, this is the fake one here, but um, I think the originals used to do this type of logo back in the day, but you can see there's a difference between those two there. Um, actually, this by Ralph Lauren looks really big. I'm not sure if the original's meant to be like that, but it's quite big as, as what I can remember. Um, <clears throat> inside the hood, all the Ralph Lauren um, hoodies they come with this type of uh, mesh material that you can see inside the hoodie there okay so they look they look pretty similar here i can just see on this one the um the knitting is a little bit more thicker than on than the original but you'd never be able to tell that if if you didn't have them side by side just noticed on the inside of the zips there there's actually a little number on the original you can see there it says um does say seven and on the original, on, that's the original one here. And on the fake, doesn't say anything on there. So that's, that could be something that you could use to tell. You can see the little seven there. And here we don't have anything. Okay. Um, let's go back to the zips again. Because <clears throat> you can see these little tags here. That's the tags there. So on the original, it's a little bit bigger on the original polo this one here on the on the right and on the left the polo looks a bit smaller um, and also again if we turn it around we've got YKK on the original and the fake on this side we don't have YKK there so I'm trying to see 
So you can see the guy's polo stick there. It's a little bit, it's not very well stitched. Um, you can see on the original, you can just about make out the fourth leg right at the back there. On here, um, one, two, three, you can't really see at the back, there's no leg there. And there's a big gap in between the um, the rope where he's holding the front of the horse. And here there's a smaller, smaller gap. I mean, to the untrained eye, you're not going to spot the difference. But looking at posting those two up there, you can see that the stitching on this one isn't as good as the original. Just again, the polo stick is a bit bent, it's a bit crooked. This one is a little bit longer and a bit more straight. So that's one of the things there. And one... Just trying to see if there's any more differences there. I mean, to, in all honesty, they've got it. They've got it down to a T, really. They've done it really well. I was going to say that the head on the the head, his head on the fake, is a little bit bigger. So that's that. Um, let's have a quick look at the um, bottoms. And again, I'm looking at the bottoms. You can really see that it's really bobbling very, very easily. Even if I just brush it up a little bit, we're starting to get some hair um, cotton form on there, as you can see. So not very good quality on that one. Um, just going to open up the just going to open up the um, packaging for the bottoms. That's how the packaging should look, guys. That's the original price there, 85. The original price is not 225, as you saw on the other bottoms, on the other tracksuits. And the other thing as well is this is the fake packaging there on the Ralph, on the fake Ralph Lauren, okay? That's the fake packaging. It should come like this, guys. That's how it should come. Shouldn't come like that. If you see it's coming like that, then there could be a problem. Um, Especially if you see £225 on there, because we know now that Ralph Lauren do not sell the tracksuits together. They sell them separately, always. Go on the website on Ralph Lauren, you'll see it as well. They do not sell those um, together. So yeah, this is, the, um, this is the original here. Also as well, you can clearly see that there's a big difference between the colour. I mean, this one's really grey. And the other one's a bit more of a lighter grey, as you can see there. So that's the difference there. This is the original colour. And if we look very, very closely, um, you can see there is a colour difference there as well, okay? Just looking at the... Just looking at the... Uh, the hem. Again, another one of the things you can see straight away is the size of the cords, okay? So the, the fake one is quite big. As you can see there, stitching is really big, and the original one is very, very thin, very thin. We can see that there straight away. See the difference in size there straight away, guys, of, of the um, of the pull cord. So we, we now know that if you see a fake one, it's the, the pull cord is, is bigger than the original one, because that's the original one on the top there, okay? Uh, the other thing I've noticed on the fake is they've got, the, the, on the um, waistband there, they've got this stitching that's going, a double stitching. That's going all the way through. See this line here? And on the original, they don't even have that. They don't have that on the original. See? So, no need for that, that stitching. And even if we look here, we can see the way they've made some faults here. Where they haven't. You can see there. See there's some faults around the band. Where they haven't really stitched it properly so another good way is to always is just, just to check the stitching as well um, again let's have a look at the inside here we can see the tags on the inside you can see that they are different there look okay so <clears throat> this is a this is a newer label I think this one's an older label but even the older one on the original, because the original of the older one was like that as well. I don't think the M was there though. I think it was on the side here. I don't think you get them at the bottom like that. But if you're if you're getting a newer newer um, tracksuit bottoms, should come like that, guys. Okay, shouldn't come like that. Um, <clears throat> and the bottoms are, as well, guys. The bottoms are 85. Sorry, Sam. Bottoms are 85 quid. These guys are saying that the tracksuit was 225. So the counterfeit one's even more expensive than buying it from Ralph Lauren separately. See there's 225, but um, we know that the bottoms were 85 
and the top is 100. So the, the, the original is cheaper than the counterfeit. Go figure that. Um, here as well, you can see that the, the, the finishing at the end, they haven't finished it properly as well at the end there. It's a little bit sticking off. Um, so on the inside here, again, we've got that supply label in there. We've got that supply label, we've got the PO number there, and we've got those tags that are giving you the, um, letting you know what the item is made from. And we know already that it's, uh, what was it? <clears throat> it was 80% cotton or something like that. So I'm not even saying it on there. Let's see what this one says. On this one, here we go. Again, just see that lonely label again on the inside so guys if you see this label here we know this is a fake because it should come with a lot more a lot more labels like that and then also you can see there's a supplier code and po code in there whereas this just has nothing really okay so that's the bottoms um again if we look at the cuff at the bottom you can see it's very very thick um, compared to the original it's a lot lighter like that okay so that's that as well as that I'm I don't remember um, I don't remember Ralph Lauren Chuck seats even being cuffed at the hem I don't even remember that so the originals as far as I'm aware are always an open hem so as you can see there it's not it's not um, it's not tapered like this one here is tapered so it goes in, it's an ankle, ankle cuff. Whereas this one is just an open ankle. This is a closed ankle. I, I don't even remember seeing a, a Ralph Lauren with the uh, closed ankle cuffs like that. Could be wrong, but every time I've had a um, Ralph Lauren tracksuit, it's always been open like that. Okay. Also as well, if we look at the pockets, just notice that real quick. The fake has, uh, the way they've designed the pocket there, this little cut out for the pocket totally different on the original totally different that's the original there and the you can see that there's no there's no cut out like like what this one is here see that bit of material there we do not see that on the original here just want to give a big thanks to the um, YouTube individual that sent me that question sorry I forgot the name now but I'm gonna put the name up here in just one second big thanks for dropping the idea to do a um, Ralph Lauren uh, fake versus real video okay guys so I hope that's been helpful once again got some more reviews coming guys got some items in today got that Stone Island um, the Stone, Stone Island jackets and the Stone Island shirts that I ordered in this week's weekly buy video so that's in today guys just gonna prep myself up for that I'm gonna be doing a review real shortly okay guys thanks for watching if you like what I'm doing give me a thumbs up if you want to see more videos more weekly videos coming more um, fake versus real videos guys all you gotta do is subscribe okay and thanks for all the support guys see you guys in a bit peace out